Hi, and welcome to the Stop Chasing Skinny podcast, where every single Tuesday we interview a new guest to talk about topics to help you craft your own fit life. The title Stop Chasing Skinny comes from my own personal tagline of life begins when you stop chasing skinny. You see, I spent many years running many miles, taking many classes, and trying many diets, but none of those worked. So finally, I got down to the business of understanding what really matters. And it's not just about how much exercise you can do or how little you can eat. It's everything else that goes into it. So I created this podcast to help you so you can craft your own fit life. Every single Tuesday, you can listen to an interview with a guest. And now every Friday, you can listen to me a second time where I take questions you have sent to me and I spend about 15 minutes answering them. You can even feed your brain this nourishing brain food by listening while you're cooking, commuting, cleaning, walking the dog, or just about anything else, because that is how we craft a fit life. So let's get on with the show. Today's Stop Chasing Skinny podcast guest is Andrea Lambert. Andrea is a life coach. She's not just any life coach. She has plenty of years of experience working in the high stress industry of hotels prior to becoming a certified life coach. She also has her bachelor's of science degree in psychology, and she is certified through the Institute for Professional Excellence in Coaching, IPEC which offers the most comprehensive and experiential certified personal coach training program in the world. Andrea really specializes in accountability and commitment. So let's hear what Andrea has to talk about today. And welcome to the show. Thank you. This is fun. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, so excited to hear this information because we hear all the time that we should uh, do the things that we want to do now before the time runs out. Uh, So your story, though, I think makes it so much more in your face, kind of. We've heard these things, but we still don't follow through on them unless we have an event that happens to us a lot of times. So can you tell us a little bit about why you wanted, why this is important to you, why you wanted to really uh, drive this home, why you are an accountability coach versus just help, I'll help you figure it out. You're going to help somebody figure it out, but you help with the accountability piece too. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. tell us a little about sure, that. Sure, I'm happy to. It was really a turning point. I, I first always like to um, start out with a quote because I think quotes really center us. So Hal Elrod is a great writer he wrote the miracle morning and he says one of the saddest things in life is to wake up one day and realize that you could have been done and had so much more so this stephanie became really alive for me when my mom passed away um, because i started thinking about this quote and what happened next really cemented it for me so basically what happened i was at her house and i was going through all her things and i found a piece of paper that her iq score on it and the iq score said that she was a genius So that was pretty wild for me because my mom never really, she had a couple of nice businesses and everything, but I remember all through her life always saying, I wish I had done more, I wish I had gone to college, I wish I had done so much more. And I wondered at that point, what happened? Why didn't she? Because she was so smart. So that was the beginning of that journey. Yeah. Wow. I think we can all identify with that, right? Like there's something in our lives that maybe we're not going all the way on. Um, And you said too that she actually said to you, I wish I would have done more, right? Absolutely. And I hear that a lot. You know, people as they get older, they say, I wish I would have done more. And so what is happening at our age um, that's stopping us from moving forward, from completing what we say we're going to do and and doing all the things that we dream about doing? What stops us? So it I started to research. I started to read everything I could. And Hal Elrod um, brought it all around right here. And we're going to talk about it today, about the things that people do that stop them from being successful. Yeah, let's just jump right into it because there is a great list of 10 things that we that stop us from from actually completing what we need to complete. And these are the keys to everything, really. I mean, <laughs> if you do these, yeah. then you're going to be successful in it. And, and a lot of people come to me for fitness, but you see it expands way beyond fitness. The listeners here, we all know that it's not just fitness. Fitness is just one piece of it. So a lot of times if you can get your fitness in check, then a lot of other things fall in line too. Um, but 
tell us for this overall broad perspective, what happens? Why mm-hmm. do we not do these? Yeah, I, and I find that really um, true, what you just said, that it's not just fitness, it's everything, but if we can fix it in one area, it absolutely flows into all the other areas of our life. Um, so a- as it is, so so we can start by talking about a couple of them, and even if your listeners decide to take one or two things into their life, um, the number two one is such a big one. Even if you took this and you did it just for a couple of weeks, it would be amazing the difference that you would see in your life. And that number two is letting feelings dictate action. So that's the I don't feel like it. That's the one that says the night before when you said tomorrow I'm going to work out and you wake up in the morning and you go, oh, I don't feel like it. The key is not to say those words anymore and to just do it. Ah, so take that word, like take the whole phrase completely out. Mm -hmm. Don't discuss it. Don't give it any attention. No thought, just get up and go do it. Right. Where do you think that Nike swish came from? (laughs) No, seriously, just do it. (laughs) Keep it in mind because truly it's very related. It really is. It's not about thinking about it and saying, I don't feel like it. So if for two weeks they could eliminate that that's going to be definitely a difference in their life. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So listeners, I challenge you for the next two weeks, do not say that. Don't don't think it. Don't say it. Definitely don't spend time discussing it because now you've wasted time where you could have just done it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Right. <laughs> yeah. So um, what was number one, though? What, I I'll go back one. to number one yeah, in a minute, okay. but I, I have a couple of favorites that yeah, I like to share. So okay. isolating incidents is really a great one. So okay. one of the stories that I have related to that is that I decided I was eating chocolate every single night of the week. Yep. It was a good diva, but it was chocolate. It happens. <laughs> exactly. And so I decided that I was not going to do that midweek I would just do it on the weekends and so every day when I'd come through the door I knew it was in the fridge just waiting for me and isolating incidents would have said this one time is okay Ah. and this one time is not okay if you make a commitment to not eat chocolate for Monday to Friday then don't eat chocolate there's no isolating incidents because that means that you went you didn't accomplish what you said you wanted to accomplish and then that turns into other things and we start feeling bad about ourselves right yeah so we beat ourselves up then we may eat more because we already feel guilty right six cycle right yeah wow yeah such a great one isolating incidents keep that close to your heart so going back to number one is instant gratification so if you don't get it you don't want to put in the work I mean I'm sure this comes up for you a lot in fitness right if people don't see right away but there's so many famous stories about people who have accomplished such great things that didn't get it for a long time past the time they thought they were going to get it yeah. so the goal is to push through to set your goals and stick with the goals and not look for that instant gratification right oh that's huge especially in fitness because a lot of the marketers love to show before and afters and say oh in short four short weeks you can look like this and that's a bunch of crap it doesn't mm-hmm. work like that mm-hmm. um and if it if it did temporarily it's only temporary it's going to come back but you're right, that's huge. But I mean, we think about it in fitness, but mm-hmm. I mean, how many other things does it happen in our lives that are, it's actually undermining us? Yes. It happens with money, it happens with, it happens with everything, yes. I think. Yes, it's really true. The instant gratification of what we need to fill up ourselves with rather than waiting for things to happen, such as life to get better, we'll go shopping to placate that, right? Yeah. And it, rather than getting through that feeling of feeling like you need to take care of the pain right away, when really sometimes, whether it's working out or whatever it is we're doing in our life, we have to work through it and yeah. not wait for things to happen really quickly. To be a little bit more patient with the progress is really what's important about instant gratification. And I think it's great too, because this is what you do. You coach people in their accountability, but you also help people if, when they're in sticking points Mm -hmm. to kind of recognize no maybe you know to to help somebody figure out if they should push forward even more or if it is okay to quote unquote quit because Mm -hmm. sometimes it is right Sure, absolutely. um, that's great because you really help somebody kind of figure out where they're going and and what they're doing or are they beating their head against the Mm -hmm. wall are they knocking on a door that's never going to open or do they just need three more knocks Mm -hmm. that's very true and that comes with getting clear about what you really want so you know that's really important to work around what what is it that we really want in our lives and then how are we going to get it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So um, number three, 
Uh, living with excuses, such a big one, right? I hurt my <sighs> foot, so therefore I can't run. Well, that makes sense, but what can you do? Right. Right? So reframe it. Mm-hmm. Reframe it. Ooh, Absolutely. I like that. Yeah. That's so, a- so I hear a lot of times people will say, quote unquote, no excuses. And sometimes they mean like, even if I'm in extreme pain, I'm going to push through it and I'm going to do it. But that's not what it always means. It means find some other way around it, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. And you know, the other excuse sometimes that you hear a lot is I didn't get enough sleep. Those are the ones you push through. Okay. Yep. You know, unless you've got no sleep, of course, and then it would be dangerous. <laughs> so we have to right? be careful with that. But just really pushing yourself through the excuses is really what's important. Yeah. You know? and, and I think people know how far they can push themselves. I think they really do know. They just, yeah. they stop short. Yeah. And but, they, yeah, to just let themselves off the hook. Mm-hmm, right. You don't let people off the hook. No. Like it. And we're going to take a really quick break and we'll be right back. And today's show is sponsored by Memer Media Group. Memer Media Group is passionate about helping professionals in the fitness industry expand their influence and businesses beyond the confines of their local community. For the very first time in history, health, wellness, and fitness coaches can make a positive impact and earn an income from anywhere in the world. Check out Memer Media Group at memermediagroup.com. M E E M U R media group and welcome back (laughs) okay number four the need for variety is a big one you know I don't want to do this every day I'm ready to try something new and give up on this for now Mm. so I know that's a big one in fitness and I know that's a big one in life generally speaking Um, and so it's really important to know that even the greatest athletes in the world doing the same thing. Do you think Michael Phelps, who swam back and forth a million times to practice, was excited when he swam across the pool for the millionth time? Right. No. <laughs> you know, he, yeah. he didn't need the variety because he had the goal in mind. He knew what he wanted to accomplish. So important to know that. But sometimes variety is not what we're after. It's the end result or the, or the journey that we're after. So keeping that in mind. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. that's really good. I see that all the time. People mm-hmm. will start doing something and then all of a sudden, um, you know, it's worked for them for about six months or nine months or whatever. And then all of a sudden they stop doing it. I mean, I've been guilty of it in certain areas too, not so much fitness, but mm-hmm. other things. And you're right. It's just looking for variety. It's maybe you, you see like the next shiny object and you go, oh, is that better? Okay. And yeah, like it it's it's not necessarily better stick with the basics keep doing the same thing and then you're going to end up accumulating a result yes right? <laughs> absolutely that's the goal that's exactly what happens is that if you keep doing the same thing over and over again and it gets boring understandably it's not going to be exciting but what are you gaining from it yeah. so really stay focused on what you're going to get from it yeah. if that's what you want you know yeah. um the same day someday mentality i'm not going anywhere i can get this tomorrow or the next week so a lot of people stop doing stuff because they feel like they don't have to do it today you know you have this big plan but the truth is inch by inch like every day uh, you know when you talk to college students for example if they do something little every day towards whatever their goal is in college I know um, something's going to come out of it but once yeah. they stop if they take a break on it and they say no you know I don't have to do this today I always have tomorrow then they get less done and that is for all of us in everything that we do and this all has to do with Um, intention and goal setting and and what we really want in our life. So when we talk about these things, you know, it's relative to that, not every single thing in our life, but what are the choices that you're making and what are your dreams and what do you want to accomplish? That's where these all come in. Yeah. And I see that too sometimes where I will have clients who really struggle with say the fitness portion of, of life, but they are very accomplished in their professional fields. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think a lot of times if they can apply the discipline that they had to get through that tough academic program and to perform in a challenging work environment every day, Mm -hmm. they have to just apply that to their fitness too, right? Yes. Yeah, that's great. Absolutely. Sometimes they don't see it, but it's great to to point that out to people who are really accomplished in some areas. So what did you do to get accomplished in that area? What were the steps that you take? What made you successful? How can you bring that over here? Yeah, it's really something to ask yourself. Yeah. Um, Not being committed to the long term. 
Long term, yeah. Mm, it's yeah. a big one, you know. So what is the long term for you? That's a question I'll ask my clients. What What is it? What is it that you want to accomplish and when do you want that to happen? And so be really being committed to however long it will take. It could take a year for or two years for somebody to get their body where they'd like it to go. Yeah. So be committed to the long term, to however long it'll take us yeah. to get that success that we're looking for. So one of the 10 reasons why people have poor discipline is number seven is not being committed to the long term. Wow, this is taking longer than I thought. Maybe I don't really want it. And there's a psychology of habit that I like to share with people. And I know that a lot of you have probably already heard it before, but when you are starting a new habit, remember this because it helps you to get through it. And that is from the first day to the 10th day, things are unbearable. I remember when I started my yoga practice, it was hard. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was falling and everything. It was terrible. From the 11th day to the 20th, it's uncomfortable. You just, you know, not sure whether you want to do this. It doesn't feel exactly, exactly the way that you want it to feel. And then something happens at the 21st day. Don't forget this because make it to that 21st day. And 21 to 30, unstoppable. Yeah, well, and that's why it's great to work with somebody like you too because you actually have that longer-term goal mm -hmm. that you're going to help somebody stay committed to it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I see that a lot, and, and that's that's it's tough to stay committed to that. Yes. But it's great because I think some people may not quite understand like what an accountability coach in the life coaching realm does, but really, if somebody is is meeting with you whether it's on the phone or in person or whatever they're gonna have to talk to you about their goals like it's putting it in front of them every single week month whatever Absolutely. Your, mm -hmm. your period is so I think in that in itself is very motivating yes. to continue on yes and you're very right about that when long-term goal goals come into play it's really great to have somebody by your side through that the, the long-term goals are definitely the harder goals right so to have a cheerleader and somebody who reminds you where you want to be and and asks you where you are on a regular basis it does make a difference so where yeah. that one's concerned it's definitely helpful to have somebody by your side yeah. for sure yeah. um, waiting for breakthroughs I know something's going to hit me a new way to do this a new idea a burst of energy I'm just gonna sit on it for a bit just do it it's again back to that you know um, if you wait too long sometimes it just passes by so a lot of times you have to ask yourself am I waiting for a breakthrough or can I make the steps forward right now Yeah, because mm -hmm. I think sometimes once you just start doing stuff you can use that momentum so you may not be like yes. overly excited in the beginning mm -hmm. but then once you're going then you're going. I mean, like say it about working out, you know, mm -hmm. getting there is the hardest part, even if you're doing it at home, getting your gym clothes and actually starting to yeah. move. And at that point, you're already moving. Mm -hmm. So now why not just do it? Yes, right? yes, <laughs> momentum. Mikey. There's the momentum theory is absolutely true. And so yeah. I agree with you on that. Absolutely. So don't wait for the wait for the breakthroughs, just start. And eventually, you know, just like cleaning our house, right? If we yeah. just start to do a little bit, all of a sudden, we really get into it, right? Isn't that what oh, happens? That is so Yes, I hate cleaning. So <laughs> but does it happen for you? Example, <laughs> great. you can't wait until you feel like it because it's there. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's a great that's a great example yes. for sure. Yes. Um, another. So we have two more. Not believing your goals and dreams are possible. Um, things people say is I'm not really a lucky person, so I really um, likely not likely to be able to reach this goal, or I probably won't be able to reach this goal. So really not believing that your goals and dreams are possible. Again, a good place for a coach to step in. But um, it's also a mindset that people can get on their own as well to believe in themselves. There's lots of books out there that people can read, you know. Yeah. Um, but that's a real part of being successful in life, believing in yourself. Yeah, I mean, I joke about it. Some, I've been interviewed on some different entrepreneurship podcasts, and mm -hmm. they'll say, what's your secret to success? And I tell them that... Uh, uh, delusional confidence. That's beautiful. <laughs> Delusionally confident. That is a beautiful <laughs> you know, thing. You just Good. keep doing it. Yes. And, then, and then some things do, they do happen. They do work out. Mm -hmm. um, success does show up. Uh, if you do it long enough too, mm -hmm. right? Right, <laughs> right. Exactly. It all comes together. But how could you not even be success? How could you not be successful 
if you're not believing in yourself. I mean, if you believe in yourself, there's more of a chance. If you're not believing in yourself, there's less of a chance, right? Yeah. So, But if you quit before you even start, then you... Well. Right, <laughs> exactly. That is exactly the point, you know? Not believing your goals and dreams are possible is quitting before you even start. Yeah. That's really true. And we're going to take a really quick break, and we'll be right back. You've heard me talk a lot about learning how to reach your fitness goals, and more frequently, how to look as fit as you feel while learning to stop chasing skinny. And you've also thought to yourselves, yeah, I do want to reach my fitness goals in a shorter, more concise way, to stop wasting my time bouncing back and forth from fitness tip to fitness tip in magazines, wasting hours researching the latest and greatest diet, only to end up looking and feeling the same way you've been looking and feeling for years. And my guess is that you've been thinking about this for a long time, am I right? I know the feeling because I played these games too. For a very long time, in fact. I'm here to tell you this. Stop thinking and sign up for the SK Fit Life Challenge, an online training, nutrition, and coaching program that will lead you through 12 weeks of step-by-step guidance to help you finally reach your goals of looking fabulous and feeling fabulous. You're going to get to free up all the headspace you've been wasting, picking through random diet information being fed to you through the media and simplifying the seemingly complicated world of health. Your chance is now. Do you really need more time, more information, more plans for the future? Or do you want to become that fit person today? Because the truth is this. You can be that fit person, or you can be the person that sits around thinking about becoming fitter. It's your choice. Read more magazines, blog posts, and bits and pieces on social media, or take action. Because let's face it, if you're not where you want to be, your current program is not working out for you. I want you to be successful. And why is this? Because you've already got what it takes. You've been doing the work all along. It's just been the wrong work. You have the desire, the discipline, and the potential. Now let's get you on the right track so those efforts you are already putting in can take you in the best direction possible. Join me and the hundreds of other SK Fit Life clients for the 12-week online fitness challenge at skfitlife.com. All right, now let's get back to the show. And the last one is a past-oriented vision, which I really like and which really gets people stuck. Um, People will say things like, I've never followed through in the past. I've never reached my goals, so this time won't be any different than that. So letting go of the past and knowing that the past is gone, it doesn't even exist anymore, and that you have a new start every day to make a difference no matter what happened in the past, and that when that little gremlin, that voice inside your head shows up and starts telling you that you can't do this because you've never done it before, you tell that voice to just be quiet and you take this on. That's great. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm totally going to picture a gremlin now. I yeah. think I should put that in the show notes, <laughs> a little gremlin, so you have something to picture. Great. Be like, ah, oh, shut up, gremlin. Yes, yes. Wow. So, I, I don't know, I, I always end with a quote as well, and if you'd like me to share that now. I, yes, please. Okay. So, those who only do what they feel like it, don't do much. <laughs> to be successful, you must take action even when you don't feel like it knowing that the action itself will produce the momentum you need to follow through. Hal Elrod. We'll put the link to the book that Andrea is referring to in the show notes, so you can just click on that and order it if you want to. I think I have seen it on audible.com too, so Mm -hmm. if you want to listen to it while you're walking on the treadmill, walking your dog, cooking, cleaning, any of that stuff. And Andrea, can you tell us a little bit about the coaching that you do? So um, Andrea and I met through my networking group, um, and a lot of listeners have been hearing this a lot lately, and my networking group is really, really awesome. We just have the really the best... Um, health team I think in the whole San Diego area so you offer life coaching but it's not just oh what do you want to do in life right there are so many different life coaches out there now especially that the internet has made it more available but that that's like fitness coaches that's like somebody who uh, you know you have such a wide variety of experiences so what do you really specialize in what is this accountability coach Mm -hmm. stuff Okay. Tell me about that. Sure. And um, you're right. There is a lot of coaches out there. So I just always caution people to make sure that they're certified. And some certifications take longer than others. So just, you know, just be aware of, 
of who they are and always take a test call because um, I give an hour free and so I'm just so that we can make sure that we're a good good connection yeah. and so other people I'm sure do too so um, accountability coaching came to me because I was a self-esteem expert uh, I grew up not liking myself at all and really worked on my self-esteem and to the point that I absolutely love myself now. Awesome. And so um, that is really part of everything that we do in our life. So I always bring that into the coaching. But I started to realize that almost every single person that I met needed an accountability coach needed somebody to be their cheerleader, somebody to help them stay accountable, stay on task, figure out what their goals are, what they want to do with the rest of their life, and stay on task to figure out what they need to do to make that happen. And oftentimes during that journey, people change their minds. Yeah. They decide that they thought they wanted to do this, and then we find another road. But there is a road. There is a road to purpose, to your vision, to what it is that you want to accomplish in your life. And I help you find that. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and uh, so we've done some one-to-one se- sessions where we learn more about each other's businesses and things like that. And it's just so refreshing to spend time with you because, you, you know, I've, I've, I've interviewed a lot of people who, um, who do maybe not life coaching, but ask insightful questions. And I've found your questions to be incredibly insightful. You listen to the answer, you ask other questions. And I wasn't even being your client. <laughs> we were just getting Was to I know coaching each you? Other a little, a little bit because it, I felt I felt after we were together I felt more clarity oh, so that's great that's awesome <laughs> yeah so it was so great so can you tell the listeners too how can how can they find more information about you sure um, my website is www.coachingwithandrea.com uh, they can email me at coachingwithandrea at gmail.com and they can call me at 858-344-4300. Anyone will do. The best thing really is to go to the website and go to the work with me page and book their complimentary session on the work with me page. Oh, that's great. And then I will put the link to the article that we were referring to in this podcast episode. So if you want to read the article, if you want to send it to anybody, like maybe somebody you know likes to read articles and might find that very helpful. And um, yeah, so I will put all of that in the show notes. And thanks for being here with us. Thank you. I love to get the word out. I, I, I hope that everybody finds some success in whatever they've heard today. And thanks for having me here today. Yeah, great. Thank you so much.